You know, they used to have the uh, Forester XT, and the XT was for turbocharged models. They took out the turbocharger and gave us orange accents. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong, they look really, really cool, but I really miss that turbocharged Forester. <sighs> now that that's out the way, what's up, you guys? So, today I'm bringing you the Forester Sport. And like I said before, it's not turbocharged, it is just a 2.5 liter flat four. This one's in the Abyss Pearl Blue, I think is the correct color. Um, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I think it looks really, really good. Especially with that uh, orange accenting all around it, I think it just makes it look like kind of a sleek SUV. So it's a 2.5 liter flat four, uh, naturally aspirated, meaning no turbocharger. Um, 182 horsepower, so pretty modest still. 176 pound-feet of torque. This one's got a 1,500 pound towing capacity. Moving over to the side over here, we got our 18 by seven inch wheels. Uh, they're both wrapped in 225, 55Rs. All season tires all the way around. In the front over here, you've got your 12.4 inch ventilated front rotors, and in the back, it's 11.2 inch rear ventilated rotors. You get about 26 miles to the gallon in the city, and then about 33 in the highway. Combined, that's like, what, 20, 29, 30, around there. So, not too bad. And then again, you've got that 16 gallon fuel tank, which I think is the same as the Crosstrek. So, you know, not bad. Keeping it consistent, Subaru. I like it. You've also got these daytime running lights, which are lights that are just on throughout the day, non-stop. Meaning you can't turn them off at all. And then once I put the hood down, I'll show you that there's also a black grill accent where typically it's like, you know, chrome or something like that. Uh, and then again, like I said, you've got those orange accents, which make the car just look really cool. Like, it makes it look like more than just an SUV. There we go. You've also got that keyless lock and unlock over here, so all you gotta do is have the key in your pocket or something, put your hand in here, it'll unlock the door, and then just swipe across like that, and it'll lock the door for you. God, it is so cold outside. I don't know what happened between like yesterday and the day before, but it was so sunny and now it's just not. And then once you hop inside, honestly, it does look pretty cool if I do say so myself. Like I feel like all the orange stitching and accents and everything just goes really, really good with the dark interior. And so again, another point for Subaru. So on the wheel over here, we got our buttons for volume and going through music and source and our talk to text speech, all that cool stuff. And then moving over here, we've got our lane centering, adaptive cruise control, sport sharp and intelligent mode are now buttons instead of a knob. Down here in the middle where that knob would be is another one for X mode. So basically, all X mode does is it optimizes engine output and transmission ratio and increases the all-wheel drive system engagement and uses enhanced control of the VDC system to reduce or increase individual wheel spin, providing the most optimal traction on various types of terrain and low friction surfaces. So it's kind of like a basically just like a limited slip low key. It'll optimize your traction, but in doing so, you use more gas, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. And then just moving our way down, we've got that same waterfall effect that we have on all the Subarus, where you've got that, oh, where you've got that one screen up there telling you just about everything you need to know about the car. And then moving down here, we've got the radio, which, you know, you can, it's touchscreen, you can swipe through, and you can add apps, delete apps. This My Subaru app is the one where you can control the Subaru on your phone, more or less, meaning you can turn it on, you can do the climate control, all types of crazy stuff. So you should definitely check that out if you end up buying a new Subaru. And then moving down here, we've got our 7-speed transmission. It's a CVT. It's got simulated gears, which, to be honest, don't feel bad. And honestly, the shift boot looks really, really cool, just with this orange stitching and accenting around it. You also got, which at least I think is typically the cool part about SUVs, a really nice moonroof. I love it. So, hopping in the back, honestly, the Forester's got a lot of legroom and headroom, and I know I say that every single time I hop in the back of one of these cars, but it's true. Every single time I get in the back of one of them, I'm just like, wow, I can move my legs, you know? Like right now, this is a pretty good amount of headroom that I've got, and with my legs, I can damn near almost stretch them out, so they feel really, really good. I feel spacious back here. And then there's two slots right here where in other trim models, you'd have heated seats for the rear also, 
Um, in the sport model, you don't have those, unfortunately. However, you do also get you know a couple cup holders, and you also get like a two slots back here to you know pack things in. I don't know what to call those, like little these like little slots back here where you can just pack stuff in them. You also got those 60-40 split seats, so you know you just pull the knob right here, and everything will come right down. Accessing the back, which speaking of, we should definitely go and look at the cargo area, right? Automatic opening gate, car that's beeping, and you've got some space back here for an SUV. It's pretty standard size. Um, nothing too too crazy going on back here. You've also got that privacy shade that you know you have in the cross track and the ascent as well, where you can go ahead and just pull this and latch it over on the sides just like that. Now, if you ever decide to you know take your Forester on a trail or something like that or rally it, you've got nine inches of ground clearance, so you really don't have to worry about cutting up your exhaust or anything. And uh, you know maybe if you take a rally and you'll decide to put a turbo in it too. Another thing that I really like about Subaru's vehicles is that they've got so much visibility out of all of them. They've got these huge windshields, they've got giant windows, there's just so much for you to see, so much space for you to see. It's absolutely amazing and again, another point for you Subaru. So like I said you guys, this one's got the 7 speed CVT automatic transmission, um, meaning there's no gears, but they're simulated, but we've got paddle shifters, so let's see what we can do. So pulling away, it feels really, really good. Uh, you got good, steady response from the throttle. It's not delayed or anything. Whoa. Going down this hill kind of fast feels pretty cool too. You just kind of ride it. It's nice. The one thing I like about the Forester is that it's an SUV, but it's really, really small. Like you're able to fit through really small, tight places and still hold all of your groceries and more in this thing. All right, we're gonna go up this hill real quick, first gear. Feels good. Brakes. And we weren't even in sport sharp mode. That's kind of cool. So we'll go ahead and put this in sport sharp mode now and we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, definitely feels a lot more gutty. Oh, that is a freight truck. Oh my gosh. Putting it in Sport Sharp definitely makes it feel a little bit more like how that Forester probably feels. One thing that I always forget to mention about Subarus nowadays is that you get your eyesight technology, but that's basically like their, uh, their driver safety sense, meaning you get your rear cross traffic alert, your reverse automatic braking, uh, your lane centering, your lane departure warning, all that fun stuff. So, cool stuff. That just about sums up the uh, 2020 Forester Sport. Like I said, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's a very nice SUV. I think it's really spacious for what it is. The one thing I wish there was, was a turbocharged model. That's it. But other than that, they did everything right. They hit the nail on the head with the color, the body molding, the interior. Everything looks absolutely stunning. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share it with your boys. And uh, let me know what else you guys want to see. Because I'm totally down to do more stuff. Peace out, guys.